business right there. Salina plays, all they do is play tight football games, this time on the short end of the stick. Well, 12th rated St. Mary's football, just rolling up the offense. 350 yards a game on the ground alone. 44 points per contest. That includes their last two games with running clocks in the second half. Tonight, they take on a Kenton team who hung in there with Wapak, tied at halftime last week before the Skins got the offense going. And talk about offense on a pack night. 51-14, Rough Riders leading this one. Trent, uh, Trent Kreitz trying to get it to Chris Deardorff, seven yards for our oil prep profile. Then he continues to find Deardorff, but swept up by the Rough Rider D, actually loses yardage. One more time, trying to get points on the board. Heights, seven yard pickup from Deardorff. Heights then, gonna try and continue to rally the troops. Look at the defense by St. Mary's flying in. Fourth and three, Heights tries a screen to Hunter Moore. Good stop short, that Rough Rider defense playing big. Colin Clements in, handing off to Carson Liming, fights his way for a first down. The second string guys want to get in at touchdown, and Keegan Sawmiller will do just that. Finds a way through as he is headed to the house. We love it when 44 scores on any team, and 44 scores on 44, and the Rough Riders do it again. Look at the celebration, 58 to 14, Rough Riders keep rolling it up. How about Eric Spicer? We can't get Eric Spicer highlights because St. Mary scores too much before we get there. And Eric's out of the game by then. 15 carries, 249 yards, three touchdowns, another 100 yard performance for Julius Fisher. Uh, good job by Heights and Deardorff getting some numbers. But how about the Rough Riders? 4-0, we'll get Sean Bowley's take on them 